Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Game. Today we are visiting the newly opened JKB Co Boutique in Geneva, Switzerland. The new boutique is located on the prestigious Rue du Rhône Suite, surrounded by many other well known luxury boutiques and brands such as Chanel, Saint Laurent, Bucherer, Richard Mille, Patek Philippe, and many others. In my humble opinion, this is one of the better corner locations with a lot of daylight, two floors full of beautiful products, and a great atmosphere. This boutique is visually in line with the one in New York, which we visited in 2019, and I showed you watches which they had on display at the time. If you didn't see that video yet, I'm going to put the link down in the description. You should definitely go check it out. You can also find a wide array of jewelry in the store. You can see, touch and try on anything from more everyday jewelry, high-end women's and men's jewelry, accessories such as super cool cufflinks and other dreamy creations. All of these products feature rare and very well-crafted stones that you don't see every day. Today we're going to take a look at 15 different mechanical dream watches with a total retail value of 10.5 million US dollars. Let's get this started. As a massive fan of three-dimensional complex watch movements, the Astronomia line is one of the coolest and technically mind-blowing one out there. The construction of all Astronomia models is the same, but as there is no end to Jacob Arabo's imagination, they have made a wide variety of different pieces. Here in front of me we have the Astronomia Sky, the Alec Monopoly collaboration, the Casino, the Ruby Baguette Diamond piece, and a very beautiful Solar Baguette Zodiac. The Astronomia Sky, which costs 740,000 US dollars, is one of the more quote unquote low key pieces, and one could say your everyday Astronomia. It features a stunning contrast between the blue titanium celestial dial, which also has a month indicator on the side of it and the movement hovering above it. The movement construction is basically on one main axis and has four arms that rotate above the celestial dial and make a full rotation around it in 20 minutes. On one arm you've got the famous 288 faceted Jacob cut diamond acting as the moon. It's a 4 carat diamond cut down to 1 carat to achieve the shape which makes a full rotation in only 60 seconds. Opposite of it we've got the vertical seconds indication. Then there's the scutlined and hand beveled dial which remains leveled and hence perfectly legible at all times. On the opposite arm there's my favorite feature of the model, a gravitational triple axis turbine with the bridge shaped as the Jacob & Co logo. Mirror polished, beveled and on one axis makes the full rotation in only 60 seconds, the second one in 5 minutes and the 20 minute rotation of the forearm platform. On top of the movement we've got a titanium globe which acts as the day and night indicator. It's polished and blued and just beautiful to look at. Another model to which we devoted a full video before is the Astronomia Casino right here. If you want to know the full history of Jacob Arabo, how he grew the business from nothing to today's empire, check out that video, I'm gonna put the link down in the description. This is without a doubt one of the most playful watches here on the table. Why playful? Well it's literally a roulette table on the go. The movement has the same elements as the Astronomia models with an additional automaton which is the roulette wheel. For 620,000 US dollars you can literally make money with this watch. You and your friends can place the bets and with the press of this button here at 7 o'clock you start the roulette wheel. The white ceramic ball which is caught between the two sapphires discs starts spinning around and you get your winner. Here we have the lucky number 33 guys. Maybe you won. Leave a comment down below if that was your number. The next watch we're gonna talk about is the Alec Monopoly collaboration. This piece right here. As Jacob loves to collaborate and tap into the next generation culture, they partnered up with the famous Alec Monopoly, an artist from the US whose main character is of course the Monopoly man. Of course this comes from the famous board game Monopoly. I'm sure many of us played it before. The coolest thing about this 600,000 US dollars watch are the artist's 3D hand engraved and hand painted Alec Monopoly figurines on the Aventurin base dial. The attention to detail on them is insane. I love how tall they are and how they stand next to the movement and this is truly a work of art not to hang on the wall but to wear on your wrist and admire daily. Beautiful figurines, you can see them from all sides with the help of those windows, awesome piece. If you're a fan of diamonds, these next ones are for you. The two last astronomias we're going to look at here are the Ruby Baguette and the Solar Zodiac Baguette models. The Ruby Baguette costs a jaw dropping 1 million US dollars and the Zodiac Baguette costs 780,000 US dollars. 
astronomical prices for exquisite watches, mechanically complex and rare. Apart from the well-known 4-hour movement featuring the triple axis tourbillon, the Jacob cut diamond, skeletonized dial, as well as the seconds indicator, this base dial is invisibly set with a total of 257 rubies, approximately 10.3 carats. The challenge with these is that you have to find rubies which are all the same in clarity, color, cut and carat. The same goes for the baguette cut white diamond studded lux of this model, which are invisibly set, amounting to a total of 6.1 carats. The zodiac model features a similar movement construction. By the way, the one before the ruby model had a total of 477 components. Insane guys. The dial features the zodiac signs. We've got a magnesium globe and a solar system on display. The invisibly set baguette diamond platforms turn in opposite directions when time passes and above it we've got a few of the planets in the form of an amethyst, a garnet and a smoked quartz. All of course in the 288 facet Jacob cut execution. Like on the ruby model, the lugs are also invisibly set with baguette diamonds to fit and the execution is flawless. Drop a comment down below and tell me which astronomia is your favorite so far. We've got quite a lot of them here on display. What I love about Jacob & Co watches is their dedication to develop not only new movements and use the same case over and over again, but to fully devote themselves to an idea and executing it brilliantly. One of the coolest watches in my opinion are the Bogatti Chiron models we have here. Here we got one with the full sapphire crystal case which costs 1.3 million US dollars, as well as a fully polished titanium one which costs 300,000 US dollars. As many of you know, Bugatti used to work with other watch brands before, but from the models I've personally seen, this is the most committed one so far. I mean, the watch case is literally in the shape of the real life car. How much more custom can one go? Apart from the case which features exhibition windows all around it and is unique in the space, the movement is a work of art. A work of art in its purest form. This watch features three crowns for a reason. One is to wind the watch, the second one is to change the time, and the third one, there's a button which engages the automaton. The animation which you can see is the crankshaft turns and the 16 pistons pump up and down, just like a true internal combustion engine. Super cool, super 3D, I freaking love this watch. Two turbochargers down from four in the actual Chiron engine on the side of the engine block spin while the engine runs adding to the visual impact. A total of 578 components make this possible. And on the back, you can also admire the movement from the other side and really dig deep into it. At nine o'clock, there's the power reserve indication with the universal gas pump symbol, which is a total of 60 hours for this model. The animation is actually separated so it won't affect the accuracy of the timekeeping instrument. The finishing of the movement is really high-end, from hand beveling, coating and mirror polishing on par with the best. We've got also a diamond on the top of the 30 degree inclined turbion, which was a first for Jacob & Co. There's also the Bugatti logo on the front of the case. Again, the attention to detail is immaculate. These watches are actually also very comfortable, although pretty big in size. You can see how it looks on my wrist, just for comparison. I have an 18.1 centimeter wrist size and I think this looks perfectly. I can even put it under my cuff here as you can see, but again, I wouldn't want to hide this watch. Why? How badass is it? Let's now activate the animation again. So dope. Just imagine having this watch, guys. I mean, that's definitely a dream machine. Personally, I love the Sapphire one where the case takes three months and they actually lose 10 cases to get one. But the polished titanium, I feel, would be a great daily watch. Again, pressing the button, we start the animation. It's also very light and a little more, let's say, quote unquote, under the radar, if we can even say so. Again, the Bugatti logo on the front, movement visible from all sides, beautiful case pack, a really stunning piece for 300,000 US dollars, unique on the market. Another watch which features a automaton is this beauty right here, the oil pump turbion, which is going to cost you around 380,000 US dollars. At first glance, it looks like the Astronomia model, but in fact, it's much thinner 
and the sapphire crystal on top isn't that curved. This watch features a double axis turbulent here at 6 o'clock, where one axis makes a rotation in 60 seconds and the second one makes a rotation in 2.5 minutes, featuring the fully mirror polished by hand Jacob & Co logo. At 9 o'clock we've got the brushed watch style, which is very legible, and at 2 o'clock you can see the power reserve indicator, as this watch does have a 60 hour power reserve. Plenty if you ask me. I just love all the attention to detail on this watch, with a total of 510 components. The little bearer with the brand name, the pipes and turning wheel as well as the honeycomb pattern based style. The magic happens here when you push the pusher at 2 o'clock. This is when you engage the automaton and start the animation of the oil pump. The pusher starts the two derricks moving, pumping up and down and when you press it, it charges the power reserve for the automaton and sets them into action. A really well executed and smooth animation, something new and exciting and Jacob & Co being a global brand with customers all over the world, I'm sure this appeals to many. Heck, I'd love one myself. The case spec is mostly closed, we've only got the window to see the turbine at all times, as well as the winding and the time setting flaps. As you see here, we got a crownless design, since you set the time and wind the watch with each flap separately. So this one is for winding it, and this one is for setting the time, and again, a beautiful window to see the turbine. Another avenue and partner of Jacob & Co is the UFC champion Khabib Nurmagomedov. Since the brand loves to associate themselves with the best, this one makes sense. The watch case is the same as on my personal Epic X, but here there's quite a lot of changes to make it more unique. On the inner side of the case we can see the nickname of Khabib, which is the eagle, that is engraved on it. The two silver bridges make for a nice frame to focus on the middle part of the dial. We've got scalp nice hands in the center, indicating the hours and the minutes, floating over the wheels, gears, balance and the bridges and of course the mainstream barrel here at 12 o'clock. At 6 o'clock we've got a traditional 60 second turbion and the case which I biasly of course love is made out of titanium, polished and bead blasted to achieve great contrast between the surfaces. On the back sapphire crystal is also the custom Khabib logo with his signature and his fight record of 29-0. This turbion costs 98,000 US dollars and if you're a fan of Khabib and the UFC or simply this blue model is a nice choice for you. Moving on, we're now gonna talk about this beautiful 1.3 million dollar beast of a watch. Combining the highest level of gem setting and watchmaking, this is really a pinnacle in many regards. This mystery Termia watch is something I had the pleasure of seeing before it came out. The first time I saw the movement, just the raw movement, I couldn't believe it and I couldn't even fathom and understand it. In the middle of the so-called dial, there's the twin triple axis turbions placed back to back. The first axis makes a full revolution in 60 seconds, while the second and third axis make a full rotation in only 2 minutes. A beautiful play of the polished components, which is something nobody has done yet in the industry. There's two Jacob & Co logo bridges on these turbions and on top we've got the real rubies to add a bit of flair to it. A 430 component movement, not just for show, it does show the time and even gets a total of 60 hours of power reserve, which is admirable for a complex watch like this. The dial is inspired by mystery watch styles and you can see the beautiful execution here. The hour and minute pointers are actually these two and when I turn the flap on the case pack, you'll see how time passes and changes. They're both basically green savorit stones here. So the inner one shows the hours and the outer one shows the minutes. On the case pack there's also a small window similar to the oil pump where you can see this double triple axis marvel rotating. Talking about the diamond setting of this watch, the case of the mystery turbion is invisibly set with hexagonal diamonds and the dial is set with overlapping diamonds. A beautiful execution, invisibly set, it just looks magnificent guys, I've never seen something like this before on any other diamond studded watch. A marvelous watch with a fantastic sapphire crystal that showcases the setting from all sides. You can see it right here. It's a higher watch from the profile similar to the Astronomia line, but this isn't a watch you would want to hide under the cuff anyway. You maybe could since it's so curved, but let me know what you think about this watch. If you like it, would you wear this one? 
And what do you think about the price of 1.3 million US dollars? Definitely a big boy watch. While we're on the diamond set watches, this next one is one for the ladies. Although appropriate, I think also for men, depending on your taste. This is called the Fleur de Jardin, which translates to garden flowers. This model will run you 560,000 US dollars. And let me tell you why. At first glance, it looks like the Astronomia, but in fact, it's more execution of the case and you can immediately see the difference in the case as well as in the lux if we compare it now to an Astronomia model, for example. Much, much smaller and slightly more wearable for a smaller wrist. We have the same vertical movement construction combining a 60 second flying turbion with a polished titanium bridge in the shape of a beautiful butterfly here. We've got a half scat nice mother of pearl dial with polished hands with a differential so it's never upside down for the viewer and spinning turning gemstone flowers which are neatly crafted. The whole dial rotates on the central axis in 10 minutes. Then we come to the gem setting model of this model. On top of the movement there is a 288 faceted Jacob cut Savory and 12 kite shaped diamonds. The hanging flowers made of multicolored kite shaped gemstones are at Savorit, blue sapphires and rubies. They make a full revolution clockwise on the revolving platform in 10 minutes. While the dancing Savorit flower rotates counterclockwise on itself in 60 seconds, the floral ring is set with 210 baguette diamonds, approximately 3.38 carats, carrying 5 multicolored gemstone flowers. It makes a full revolution counterclockwise in 10 minutes, while the central ring set with 46 baguette diamonds makes a clockwise rotation in 10 minutes. Complex but beautiful, the biggest challenge of the diamond and stone setting is getting the same quality of stones, so there is no discrepancies. Again, a crownless design with flaps on the case pack for setting and winding the watch. A very sleek model, super wearable, and I definitely love one for my wife, if I had one and if I even could afford this watch. It would be cool to wear this watch, you know, in a pairing with my imaginary Astronomia. <laughs> Maybe this one or the Casino, for example. You can see that the case of this watch is beautiful and very complex. We've got the whole middle basically in a see-through sapphire crystal. Obviously scratch resistant and you can see the movement from all sides. There's no like middle parts to hold the case and to connect to the lux like we have on the Astronomia line, for example. You can really see the comparison here. Also, the lugs are obviously much smaller. Really cool, 3D, beautiful, definitely something I would love to own. Or, like I said, my wife. We go from a gem setting masterpiece to another mechanical wonder. The first time I saw a double axis turbion, a musical box, as well as a mini repeater in one watch. Of course, a Jacob & Co. With time you get used to seeing the unbelievable Jacob & Co watches, but once you dig deep into these movements, you really marvel and ask yourself, how the hell did they make this work? This model is made in collaboration with Paramount Pictures and obviously we all recognize Marlon Brando here from his role of Don Corleone in the iconic movie, The Godfather. Where do I begin, guys? We've got a triple axis turbion here and the dial for reading the time, which again always stays centered in the middle. It's skeletonized and really readable. Then we have the black lacquered piano with Don Corleone on top, as well as this Godfather plaque on the opposite side of the dial. Making the music, there are two cylinders which turn against the 230 pin combs, producing the Godfather theme song. A total of 120 notes. You activate it with pushing the pusher here at 7 o'clock with the note on it. Let's listen to the beautiful sound of the Godfather theme. Wow, what a sound. What's even more impressive here is that this watch even features a minute repeater. You can see the gong going around the periphery of the dial and the hammers next here to the Jacob & Co logo. 
A minute repeater is my favorite watch complication and in short tells you the time with chiming. You just have to push the lever down at 9 o'clock and listen to the marvel. Let's set the time to 12.59 and listen to this marvel of watchmaking. Now the time is set and let's run the repeater with this lever again here. Beautiful. Now you can see how the governor stopped and again uh, just looking at this watch makes me happy. I love how the dial is floating above all the components and again there's no end to details that you can discover in this watch. You also have exhibition windows from the side of it so you can see all the small gears and components moving from the side, the bottom, this side as well and also on the top here. The power reserve for the movement and the music box function are separate. This watch has a power reserve of 44 hours, while the music can be played up to three times before you have to wind it again. You wind it all by pulling this 18 karat rose gold violin shaped crank. Turning it clockwise winds the power reserve of the watch. And turning the violin counterclockwise, you wind the music box function. Pretty cool. The price tag of this marvelous watch is 620,000 US dollars and there's also other versions available. Definitely a unique piece. You'll be one of the only guys in the room wearing this. And you can also see the open case back here. You can see all the components. And once you run the minute repeater, you can see how they start moving around. As a fan and collector of clocks, this one really speaks to me. Although the price point isn't really in my reach yet. This 160,000 US dollar stable clock is one of my favorites I've seen so far. And I've seen some pretty cool table clocks in my past years. It combines the beauty of the Astronomia wristwatches just on a much bigger scale. Imagine having this on the office desk or at home, that would be really awesome. The whole case is made of stainless steel and you can close the clock when you're traveling and moving around. So you actually don't, you know, basically damage the crystal on the front. There's the winding key on the back and let me show you how the movement dances once you wind it. Beautiful, isn't it? Really cool. You can fast forward time basically here, maybe travel in time, who knows. Like on the Astronomia models, the movement with the four arms rotates above the aventuring base style on its own and makes a full rotation in 10 minutes. The power reserve of this clock is 8 days. The 399 component movement is made out of titanium and is neatly polished and crafted. Here you can see the skeletonized dial of the watch which is again always facing the right direction with the help of the differential system. Opposite of it, there's this beautiful turbine which rotates around the periphery of the dial here. Then we've got a blue lacquered aluminum globe. The globe rotates on itself in 30 seconds and around the dial, of course, in 10 minutes. Opposite of it, it's something very rare, a real and big meteorite. It was found in Campo del Cielo in Argentina, about 1,000 kilometers northwest of Buenos Aires. The meteorite is calculated to have fallen on Earth around 4.2 thousand to 4.7 thousand years ago. Super cool and totally in line with the astronomical feel of this clock. Last but definitely by no means least, we'll take a look at what I think is today one of the most complex watches produced. The Twin Turbo Furious. Here we have two different examples. The baguette white diamonds and rubies model that costs 1.3 million US dollars and the blue titanium model which costs 580,000 US dollars also in combination with the rose gold. I love the contrast between the two colors and this would make a great addition to anybody's collection. This case right here is a good opposite of the blue titanium one. As we used to Jacob, it's invisibly set. A beautiful execution obviously. It features a mix of white diamonds and rubies. There's a subtle gradient on the bottom half of the case 
which spans from the white diamonds into the rubies here on the bottom and also on the side of it. The 18 karat white gold case and bezel are invisibly set with 154 baguette cut diamonds, approximately 8.06 carats and 190 baguette cut rubies of around 9.81 carats. The real magic for someone that loves watchmaking happens inside the case though. There we can admire the hand decorated and hand assembled 832 component movement guys. I, I, this is a sick watch. A grand complication watch with double triple axis turbulence at 6 o'clock, a mono pusher chronograph with a pit port time difference calculator as well as a decimal minute repeater. Whoa, what a watch, a true work of art. The two triple axis turbulence rotate in fast motion and speeds of 24, 8 and 30 seconds and are visible from all sides thanks to the curved sapphire crystal on the bottom here. Then we have the mono pusher chronograph, which you engage with this pusher right here, or this button. You press once to start and a second time to stop it, and a third time to reset, obviously. On the bottom of the chronograph dial, you can see the words pit port. This chronograph actually calculates if the first lap was faster or slower than the second lap. Something I've never seen before in any other watch. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. The whole dial is made out of sapphire, so we can have an unobstructed view of the components. We've got the timekeeping second self dial here, as well as the minute self dial for the chronograph here at 3 o'clock of the dial. Turning the watch around, there's another level to this movement. On the back, you can see the minute repeating components of the watch on top here at 12 o'clock. The gong and the hammers, which are used for the decimal minute repeater. A normal minute repeater chimes the hours, quarters, as well as the single minutes. A decimal minute repeater, like this one here, chimes the current hours, tens of minutes, and the single minutes. Let's set the time now to 12.59, push the slider on the side and let it chime so we can properly admire its sound. You can change the time with this lever, you pull it out like you would in any other watch, you then rotate it like this. Let's go to 12.59, here we go, push it in, we tuck it back in and we press this lever here on the side. Here we go, 12.58 actually, not 59. Beautiful execution, I love this watch. This is really a true watchmaking marvel. On the wrist, this watch does have a lot of presence as all Jacob & Co watches do. But due to the slightly curved case, it's again more comfortable than it seems. You see right here. If you want to see these watches in person, you can of course come to this boutique in Geneva if you're in Switzerland, and I'm pretty sure you will love what you see. Let me know which is your favorite model from all of these we reviewed here today. A total of 15 watches with a staggering retail price of almost 10.5 million US dollars. In a perfect world where I would have enough money, I would buy the Opera, the Twin Turbo Furious and the Bugatti Sapphire. It's good to have goals in life. I will try to make it happen, so make sure to follow the journey on YouTube. Maybe in 5-10 years, we'll do a review on unboxing of my first Twin Turbo Furious. Let's, let's hope. Be sure to check out the Jacob & Co Instagram page as well as their website and if you have any questions or remarks, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to this channel, I promise to show you a lot of new watches this year. And thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you next Friday.